Hello and welcome to my playthrough of Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. And I got to tell you, when I started on this journey over a year ago, actually, now I think I started in 2020 of July, and uh, I would never have thought that I would be recording my 50th episode, but here we are. So let's uh, let's do some things. I have some plans. I have some plans that changed since the last time we... Um, we were together and but i also got a lovely comment i got um i'm probably gonna screw this up but uh nathan omnomicon said talk to the sick guy in moonglow i think he's gonna have the name of the spell so since we are still here in moonglow let's go find a sick guy um presumably Maybe, is there, I think there's a healer here, isn't there? Oh, we gotta do some stuff at the magical herb place too. Healing, sick guy. Talk, what's your job? Oh, apprentice to Nigel. That's the guy who knows the resurrect spell. I will need, I will soon need to use the spell he calls recall. Yes, I have met Nigel. Seek him out and he will teach thee. Recall. All right. Well, let's head back up. Uh, well, first, let's go down here. Uh, I, I've actually had a number of lovely commenters. And, and that was one of them. So Nathan Omnomicon, thank you. I think on Omnomicon. I probably got a, 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 a one less on or something there than it should be. But thank you for that. That is awesome. Another guy, actually, I think a couple of people, but the one who's coming on it most is uh, Brian Miller. And um, first of all, somebody pointed out a long time ago that this is a blind woman. So when I was underpaying her, I was, I was being such a douche. <laughs> Didn't realize that, but I do now, obviously. And uh, so, but what we all we need to do, and actually, before I actually get into the regions, let's look at the stats. Um, for one, okay, so I'm not ready to level up. Is Shamino ready to level up? Where is that? Levels, yeah, Shamino's ready for level six, excellent. That's excellent news. Uh, Joffrey is ready for level, he's already level five. He just went to level five, so he's got a ways to go. Same with Julia, she's got a ways to go. Dupree's not quite there yet. Iolo has got to get to 3,200, he's got a ways to go. Katrina, she is level three. She's actually ready to move up to, um, to level four. So I guess we should probably probably uh, do something. So I just wanted to look at my reagents here. I've actually got a lot of everything. I probably need to, can stay away from like blood moss and black pearl, uh, maybe get some ginseng garlic. Um, so all we need to do here, so what we're missing, what we're short of on elevation is honesty and valor. Um, and what the lovely commenters have told me is that if I, start a transaction um, with her uh, and buy a cheap reagent, pay full price, exit the conversation. Every time I exit the conversation, I would get plus five points for honor, justice, and honesty. So if I do that a few times, uh, I might get my one of my last, all I have left is you know, honesty and valor. I think I said that. Uh, that. That should at least get the honesty up. So let's, uh, yeah, let's see what she's got here. Let's go, I think ginseng, I'll just say one, and I will pay five. Nope. So I'm not gonna do it. Whoops, she moved, how dare you move? How dare you move? Um, I thought I pressed Y. Talk, yes. Wow, B, five. Oh, crap, well, I didn't wanna buy that many, but I bought that many. No. Okay, talk again. Yes. Garlic. Uh, six. I want one. I will pay six. No. Yes. 
I will buy some garlic. How many do I like? One, six. Yes, I'll do this one more time. Uh, let's see. Garlic. I'll buy three this time. So that's going to be 18 gold pieces. Okay, no. All right, so we'll see what that does for us. Next time we're either near that shrine or uh, we're going to visit uh, our buddy Hawkwind. So let's go back over to the Abbey. And uh, talk to the Abbey? No, let's enter the Abbey. And let's go find Nigel again. I think he's just right down here. You meet a noble wizard. You are right. Nigel. Okay, so spell. I have a specialty. Yes, I do, actually. What do I call the spell? Recall. It takes ash, ginseng, garlic, silk, blood moss, and mandrake. I kind of guessed that. All right. All right. So we need to pop over here to the notes. Magic spells. So this is resurrect, which we now know as recall. Okay, so we've done that. I doubt it's unique per per uh, spellcaster, but you know whatever. So we need sulfur ash. So for ash, ginseng, garlic. Did I misspell ginseng? I did misspell ginseng. Thank you, spell check, for keeping me honest. Garlic, silk, spider silk. Spider silk, blood moss, and then mandrake, of which I have not found out how to get that yet. Okay, so we've got that. That is excellent news. That is excellent, excellent news. Can you tell me anything about mandrake? I don't think he's gonna. No. Okay. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go. Actually, was that one of the places? Oh, let's. To flip back to actually let's I've while well, I've got the map up. Oh that's nightshade. I did get a hint on where to find nightshade. Um but I haven't found I haven't uh looked into where to find Mandrake yet. So I'll need to do that. Okay. I think we're done here with Verity Isle. Well, we gotta kill some skellies and a wizard. And what I, I've decided this is a good time to, to bring this subject up since we are in combat. I have decided that uh, I'm going to turn my crew into a ranged crew. Whoops, you're not ranged yet. So I want to get, um, and I want to get some decent weapons. I don't know that I'm going to shell out 900 gold pieces for a uh, crossbow. I might do one. But what I kind of want to do is do a little grinding and get some more gold. We're going to need some more food too. And get um, a minimum, you know, right now kind of the minimum range weapon we've been dealing with, really the only one other than my fireballs, has been these slings that Iolo and uh, Katrina and I are using. And what I want to do is I want to upgrade to bows. I was staying away from bows, and one of the things that made crossbows not attractive to me is I thought that we'd have to buy arrows. It doesn't look like that's the case. Because um, no place sells you arrows. So what I think happens is you buy the bow, you get the bow, and it just kind of comes with, you know, an infinite supply of arrows. So I think bows would be good. And then I think it'd be better to be, we could we get through a lot of these, you know, skelly battles, stuff like this, a lot quicker. Whoops, you are not in the right place. If we're all ranged, because we don't have to wait to get into into uh, position so much. 
66 gold, so we're back to 545. So we're gonna go back down to our ship, and I think what we're gonna do is, first of all, I wanna look at my food prices. Food prices. So we are in Moonglow, which is the second, the second most expensive food you can get here. The other one's at Scarabray, which we're really not too far from. I mean, we, if I if I just go due east, we'll we'll hit Scarabray. The the difference is twenty cents per plate, and I might just stop here at Moonglow since we're here, and just get some food here, just to get it back up. And then I think we're gonna head over. I think we're gonna head over to the mainland there, and we're just gonna do a little bit of the old grindy grindy. And um, excuse me. And uh, get a bunch of bows for people. So you know, at a minimum right now we need seven bows. That's a lot of bows. I may do some of this off camera too. I don't know. But we're going to start today. We're going to start down that path. As it is right now, well, well, we'll be able to buy at least one bow with the money that we already have upon our person. All right, so, oh yeah, so yes, 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 yes. 25 for 25. How many packs of 25 would you like? If I say five, that's 125. Right? Yes, yeah, so I guess this is up to 330. And we're at 420 gold. No, I like that. That's good. That's good. That's good. Keeps us out of, you know, danger of starving to death. All right, so we're going to go up. And what I think we're going to do. Should I shale my, could, should I shale my ship? Maybe I'll leave the ship here. Oh, gosh. Maybe we'll fight some, some trolls. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, you know, I just wanted to cross the bridge, guys, you know? But you had to get all stabby stabby, or, or I guess axe throwy to be more correct. Well, that guy didn't say he was fleeing, but he certainly got out of Katrina's <laughs> line of fire in a hurry, I must say. All right, Katrina, you can go up there, and I think that guy is fleeing. It didn't say he was fleeing. I've already killed two. Nice. I think what we'll do is we'll get over to Lord British's area, and that will enable us to level up. And uh, we can probably get a free heal out of it. And then we're going to, like I said, we're going to do a little grindy grindy, and we're just going to... We're going to um, do a little monster hunting. And then we can buy bows right there in Britain. So, I think that'll be a plan. And maybe we can at least get a couple, three of our people, of our people outfitted with bows. And we can see how they are. I really just want to get one or two and, you know, see, you know, how much better they do. In fact, maybe what we'll do, since we have enough gold now for at least one bow as as it stands maybe we'll go ahead and buy one bow right away and then we can we can see how that goes we can see uh what kind of difference it makes hopefully it makes a difference well, if I, you know a bow should be a better weapon than than a sling you know so i would expect to see some Nice ROI on my, you know, weaponry dollars there. To throw a little corporate speak into it. 82 gold. That's nice. All right. So we want to go over to, over to Britain. Lord British is, is the second, is the second destination. And we got to go to full dark moon. So uh, I'm just going to hang here for a sec. And uh, when it gets to be full dark moons, we will pop over to um, Lord British's castle. OK, 
Okay, and here we are, here we are. So let's first, and part of the reason I, I did that was because I knew we had a ship here. So, you know, it wasn't like we were leaving our ship behind. And of course we can always get to it just by, just by, uh, you know, taking the moon gate back to moon glow. Let's deal with our, our levels first. Let's get our people leveled that, that are ready for leveling and we can get our health back up full. We're not in dire straits, but can't hurt. So Shamino's level six, Katrina's level four. Heal, no. And heal our rest of our wounds. Excellente. Nothing, sir, thank you. All right, let's go down and talk to Hawkwind, just see how things are going. See how things are going on the Avatar front. See if that little bit of trading that I did um, was enough or, you know, do I need to just spend a little bit of time and, and grind on that for a little bit longer. I probably wouldn't do that on screen, but we'll see. I don't know how close we were. I don't know how close we were on that. So, uh, our turn gives those, okay, so I'm sleeping. I'm the only one sleeping. Of course I am. Am I awake? I'm awake. Okay. Uh, for what path? So, honesty. Okay, so I got to do more. I got to do more. Valor. Oh, wow. All right. So, let's actually update our little notes here. So, ready to elevate. So five, and that's an improvement. I don't know why I bothered to track whether I was going up or down, but for a while there, when it was moving a lot, I couldn't remember that I dropped. It was just the second time in a row. I actually, will, well, I'm a little surprised, and I'm also not a little surprised about that because, um, you know, it's been, we've been doing a lot of, we've been doing a lot of fighting, uh, so... That doesn't surprise me too much. But at the same time, I thought maybe, yeah, maybe I were to do. But we'll have to deal with that another day. Um, all right, let's go over to Britain. I'm done talking to you now. Okay. Let's open the door. And let us go over to Britain. We're, oh, actually, we, we, we've got enough gold to buy two. Because I believe... Let's find out. I think they're two. I think they're two fifty each. And that's the other reason I thought that that um, that uh, bows would be good because they're a lot cheaper. I'm here to buy. Oh, these guys don't have bows. I thought these guys have bows. Oh, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> Who has bows? I thought I looked this up and I thought that they had bows here. Staffs, daggers, slings, swords. So slings are the only ranged weapon that they have. Well, crap. All right. Well, let's, um, let's forget about that here, obviously. Um, I'm not going to buy any more food here because we're just barely over 500. And this is, I think, the most expensive place to buy food, which is uh, Vesper's more more expensive, but this is right right up there. All right, so maybe trying to think where would be the best place to go to buy weapons, uh, to buy bows. Let's try you. It's named after a tree, woodsman's bows. That might be a good place for bows. I should have researched this more than I have. So once again, we're going to wait for the moon gate to pop up here. And uh, the first place it pops up to is going to be you. So we're just going to wait. And then as soon as it opens up, I'm jumping through it. Alrighty then. So here we be. So we got to get down to you. 
So we gotta go a little bit east, I think, and a little bit south. And there we go. All right, enter you. Now let's find your dry goods, which I think is food. That's the justice guy. That's healing. They don't have somebody that sells weapons here. Oh crap, are you kidding me? No, the, oh, the druids, these are the land of the druids. Of course they don't, you moron. All right, so where are we gonna go? From here, well, let's see what our options are. So navigation, moon phases. So from you, we can go to your British, Lord British, Yalom, or you. Sure, let's try out Yalom. What the heck? Oh, we might have, well, let's, let's do a little grindy. Let's do a little grinding, get some more gold. Why not? <laughs> oh, this was ill-advised. Does your mother know where you are? <laughs> a little lone mage. It's like, don't you have any minions? Oh, crap. The one guy that could attack, and I screw him up. Oh, that's annoying. Let's see. We're missing a lot. He's critical. Very nice. He's still critical, and he's dead. Acid Trap. Only 12 gold. He was poor and alone, which is kind of sad. All right, we're going to wait for the moon gate. Yeah, I feel like every place I go, I have a ship. Um, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let me look at the map. What was it that we just got? Oh, it's Valor. And we're right here. This is Valor. The Shrine of Valor is right here south of Yalom. Because you can see here, Valor ready to elevate. Well, maybe we'll get one more elevation today. That would be good. That would be very good. All right. All right. I like that idea. I like this plan. I'm making it up as I go along, but I'm liking it. Okay, but for now, let's enter town. Let's see if they sell weapons. That's that. Uh, that's healing. They don't sell weapons. They're armory weapons. Uh, I'm here to buy. Oh, they got the cross. They have crossbows. Okay, because, but they're still. <sighs> Well, I'm glad to see that at least I'm going to elevate in something today. <laughs> I got that going for me. So, oh my God. All right. Uh, food prices. Yalom. All they have is pub food here. All right. I'm not going to worry about it. I thought maybe, well, since I'm obviously not going to be lucky, probably not going to be lucky enough to... Um, to get a, a a bow or two today, maybe I go ahead and buy some more food here, but not at forty dollar uh you know two dollars a plate. I don't know. Do they have food here? Forty, forty. Well, let's see. Let me let, let me. If nothing else, let me do a little database maintenance and make sure that's the inn. That's the pub. I don't want to buy food at the pub. So here we had that was healing and arms and weapons. Uh, armor. Actually, let's see what they have for armor. Oops. I'm running around and I forgot to switch back. Sorry, I'm here just talking to the armory guy. But before we do that, let's actually go back to notes. I spent a bit of time with my companions here and I upgraded. You know, I, I wanted to make a record of what it was that they had, what it was for weapons and for armors. And, you know, whatever I knew about them, um, 
and what what the um, based on their type, what is considered the best weapon. So for Iolo, the best weapon is slinger crossbow. So I guess maybe I should spend the bucks or the gold to get him a crossbow. Um, we have a double bladed war axe um, for is the best for Julia. I don't know if that's different from the axe that she has. Um, Ranger is supposed to be proficient in any, so he's got a sword. Um, Joffrey is supposed to be good with a double-edged sword. Right now he's on a mace. Uh, Dupree has got the best, has got the best um, uh, armor. He's already got chain mail, and he's got a sword, um, and he can do with anything. Uh, um, this person I don't have yet, so... I would be interested to see if she's going to have come with a bow or if she's going to have a mace. And then Katrina, um, unknown for Shepard as far as what. But Sling, to me, seems like a, a very natural weapon for a Shepard. So I kind of like that. Probably ought to get her some better armor. Really, most of my leather people, now obviously Shamino being a ranger, they only wear leather. So I don't need to worry about spending any money on him. But it'd probably be good to to at least get her, well, if nothing else, get her in some leather. Let's see, what do you got here? Let's, let's switch back to the game. And let's see what this guy has. And so we're here to buy chain mail, plate mail, magic chain, magic plate. Well, I'm pretty sure I can't afford something like magic. Yeah, 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 I don't. Uh, what if I wanted to get chain mail? Okay, I can't afford any of that. All right, so, yeah, wow. Okay, so we were looking for food, I think. And I don't think we're finding anything. I don't think we're finding anything. Just the pub and the inn and that. All right, well, never mind. There is no food to be had here. We are not going to get food here. Good day to you, sir. All right, so let's take our ship. Let's come down here. Did I go too far? I think I went too far. Yes, I did. All right, let's exit the ship and let's take a quick peek at mantras. So the mantra for Valor is Ra, R-A. Okay. So where am I at here? Elevation, elevation, Hawkwind. That's what I want. All right. Let's Ra, R-A. So let's do some meditation. This is Valor we're doing. So we enter V-A-L-O-R for one cycle. Okay, looking good. I really did not have it to be anywhere within my plans to be uh, trying to level up today. Ra. I don't think case matters, but thy thoughts are pure, thou are granted a vision. Victory scored over evil creatures help build a valor valorous soul. Thank you very much. All right, so now we need to kill some time. Very small little spit of land here that we can, you know, kill some time on. Let's hole up and camp. Let's uh, just kind of walk around a little bit. I suppose I could sail around the ship, but then I'd probably have something bad happen. Let's see if enough time has passed. Let's see if I can spell Valor. Two cycles. Oh, really? All right. Let's go board. Let's go. I'm just going to kind of go around, look around a little bit. Say hey, hello. All right. Come into camp. Enter Valor. Two cycles. Okay, good. Okay, good. Ra. Cycle number two, cycle number two. 
this is good. We're, you know, we just then have honesty, and that and and that seems like a very simple thing for me to just do a little grindy grind at uh, in Moonglow, and then we can we can do that. I'll have to look at the map again and remind myself where the Shrine of Honesty is at because I do not recall off the top of my head. Thy thoughts are pure. Thou art granted a vision. To flee from battle with lusts and grievous wounds often shows a coward. Yeah, and and even with grievous wounds, I mean, I mean, I personally, I consider poison a grievous wound. But we were poisoned that one time, and and I know we got we got penalized because I was running from. I was running from uh, battle, you know, because we were going to die. <laughs> I, I can't think of a better reason to run from battle than you're going to die. But, you know, the system is the system is the system. So while we're hold, hold up and camping, let's take a quick peek at the map, actually. I want to remind myself where the Shrine of Honesty is. Oh, it's over there. Okay, over by... Dayer Isle, north of Verity Isle. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. All right, back to the game. We've woken up. Let's see if enough, we, we, we healed, which is good, which is good. Let's see if we enough time has passed. We can get this guy done. Three cycles. Still weary. Yes, darn it. Come on. We, we, we did a little battle on a ship. We sailed around. We holed up and slept. I don't know what that was. Seahorses. Exit. Let's. We'll just do a few laps around there. Let's try it again. Valor. Three. Okay, good. Very good. Very good. Very good. So, yeah. Yeah, maybe next time we will. Um, I'll try to grind out the uh, the the honesty uh, ahead of time, and then maybe we'll go get that taken care of, and then we'll be f full Avatar Hood, and then we and then we can get the magic armor. God knows how much that's going to cost uh, to get the magic armor. So um, I forget where that's at. I'd have to look at my notes. I have a note here. It's um, someplace. Oh, uh, uh, Minehawk. Minehawk it is. Where the guy makes magic armor. Hopefully I can talk to him not inside the forge this time. That would be excellent. Because last time that hurt. <laughs> that was like fire damage. It was like it was like a little hurdy hurdy on the on the feetsy feetsies. All right, come on. Raw. Partial avatar hood in the virtue of valor. I mean, yeah, it should come out sounding like a Gregorian chant. All right, let's see what our vision is going to be. We are granted a vision. All right, to the notes. So elevation visions. So this is one we don't already have. Well, isn't that interesting? I still don't know. So this is the third one. This comes after compassion and before justice. I don't have these in order. I should move these. I should put these in order. Uh, I guess for now I'll just... All right, so this is Valor. All right, there we go. I'm I'm actually a little surprised because we had, you know, we got like these two match up and these two match up. So I really expected, because we had two here that didn't match anything. So I really expected that Valor and Honesty are going to match up to to these two oddball ones, the one for, for humility and the one for spirituality. But obviously that is not going to be the case. All right, so we can say that we are elevated Elevated, five, get rid of that. There we go. 
There we go. And let's look, go back here and look at our mini onk. So now we've got the bottom of the loop, the bottom of the loop there, um, which is which is for Valor. So we need to update that. So this guy actually looks like that, I guess. And this guy is going to be just a single one. So this is Valor. All right, Valor, there we go. We just got honesty to get up here and we're done. And we're done with that. So that is excellent news. I'm very happy about that. All right, so let's, we are back here. We'll board the ship and we'll just take a, well. All right, well, we'll do one last, one last bit of combat before we end the episode. I was gonna go back to uh, wherever the blazes we were and end the episode, but uh, these seahorses want to get a little frisky, so we will take care of them, and then we'll call that an episode. Is that guy fleeing? He's heavily wounded, but he's just kind of hanging back. All right, you can't do anything. You missed. You missed. These guys do a magical hit. I never really thought of, of seahorses as, as magical creatures. But what do I know? Have I ever met a seahorse in person? I have not. I have not. I've always liked seahorses, so they, 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 they look awesome. I don't like the, the amount of time it's taking us to kill these. Oh, because we weren't. <laughs> but there's our first one. First one dead. I don't know why that one keeps hanging off there. Just, just out of the way. All right, good. That's two down. Bring Iola over. I think that one might be fleeing there, the one that Katrina just shot at. All right. Yeah, this is why another reason why I think having everybody be ranged would be really good. Because that would really open up our options for these battles on the ship. And we wouldn't we wouldn't oops. Okay, Joffrey, just keep limber there. That's good. You know, we wouldn't probably take near the the damage. Not that we take an excessive amount now, but we don't have to be right at the edge of the ship. Okay, one flood. I thought, did you steal my gold? <laughs> but no. Um, all right, let's get up there. All right. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. Oh, come on, Iolo. Another one flood. Another one dead, which is always my preference. That guy's fleeing. Oh, that guy was fleeing too. And they're gone. All right. Let's exit our ship here. And uh, yeah, I think we will call that an episode. So thank you for watching. And I uh, hope you'll come back for the next one. And until then, be seeing you.